it helps demonstrate your, your fluidity and your movement. In this video, I'm gonna be talking all about the Chinese sword tassels we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm gonna talk a bit about why you'd wanna buy one individually, what they're used for on Chinese swords, and at the end, I'll put together a short montage of people training with Chinese sword tassels on their swords. Hi, my name's Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 33 years and been the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 16 years. If you're liking this video, click the little icon, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the Chinese sword tassel we have for sale at Enzo. So why would you want to buy one of these individually? Well, almost everyone that's buying these are buying them because the one they had on their sword has fallen apart. Now, no messing about, no lies, these aren't the most durable things. They're basically made up of tied string. So if you're using your, your Tai Chi sword, your Kung Fu sword a lot, and the tassel's swinging around here, there, and everywhere, eventually it is gonna fall apart. That's just the way it is. So these are relatively cheap replacement. You just buy another one, put it on the end of the sword, and carry on training. So yeah, made out of usually like a synthetic string, don't tend to get them made out of, uh, of like cotton natural fibers these days, They're mainly synthetic. And you get a relatively similar type design on most of them. Sometimes it's just one dangly bit, but majority now it's two. So just looking at some of the features, you get a lucky knot on the top. And this kind of relates to Feng Shui, I guess, yeah, it helps bring you good luck, good fortune, whatever. And, uh, and I think the knots can be tied in different ways, but these ones are relatively standard. You get two kind of plastic crystally things, two bobbles and the dangly bits. So that's it. That's basically all there is to say about it in terms of the features and why you'd want it. But more importantly, why do they exist? Why do people have tassels like this on their swords? Well, there is a prestige thing. So obviously you could spend a lot of money if you wanted, and I'm sure there's people in China that are specifically known for making sword tassels, and they do all kinds of lucky knots that have all kinds of symbology based in Chinese culture, like tied into them. And you get all kinds, you could probably have real gems on these if you wanted, and really, really fine silk material and, and all the rest of it. So there is a prestige thing with, with some of the tassels. Now the majority of people wouldn't have a really, really fancy tassel. Most people would just have have one like this. Most people have this on their sword because it, it helps demonstrate your, your fluidity and your movement. So for people watching, if the sword tassel is following a very perfect circle, so it almost looks like the sword and the, and the tassel are a completely straight fixed, fixed unit, and you're moving around, it helps demonstrate your movement, how smooth you are, how fluid. So it is a way, again, in a way to check yourself, but for others to assess how well you're moving. Apart from that, it's you, you're getting into the realms of having custom made swords. So with these, it adds a little bit of extra weight on the end, so it, you can use the tassel to change the balance of your sword. So yes, you might want a custom made sword, which would be perfectly balanced, but then you might have the tassel and adjust the tassel's length, weight, etc., to change the balance of how, how it moves. So it might be that you get, get a cheaper sword and then you, you can get a, the tassel to change it, or you, you get your own sword, a custom made one, but again, you still wanna play around with the balance and the weights a little bit. So yeah, that's one of the reasons why the tassels exist. Now, most people aren't gonna be playing around with the balance that much. Let's be honest, like if you're, if you're new to Tai Chi or you've just been doing it a number of years, you're not going to be so hot on exactly what type of balance you want or need in a sword. This is more for the advanced and advanced people. So once they've trained with loads of different swords, they've found sort of a weight, obviously you can adjust the weight, and also the balance of the sword, like and, and, and the length and the tassel and everything. So it is a more advanced thing. So most people are going to be using this A for looks because that's kind of the standard for, for especially in Tai Chi for the swords. Um, but 
you know mainly for helping you with the fluidity so yeah all all the in terms of weight and balance i wouldn't worry about that so much only once you get really really nerdy about your swords and you've trained with loads of different swords and you found the exact balance you want it's something you do for most people it's about fluidity and movement so what swords tend to have these uh, these tassels? Well, it's mainly the Chinese straight swords. So I, I sort of intermix and call them Tai Chi swords, which isn't technically true. Obviously there are Kung, uh, Kung Fu styles, maybe like Bagua, Xingyi, things like that, that, that might use the straight sword as well. But yeah, but in the majority, it's the Tai Chi practitioners that are using the, the double-edged straight swords. So I do occasionally, it's probably wrongly, call them Tai Chi swords. But yeah, it's the majority of the tassels are going on Chinese straight swords, Tai Chi swords, or, or Jiet. So at Enzo Martial Arts, we have quite a wide range of swords that you could use to put a tassel on. So I'll just show you a few of those now. So we have the aluminium Tai Chi sword. Now, if you buy this from the shop, it doesn't have a tassel on it, but it does have a hole in case you wanted to buy one and put one on. So if you are buying this and want a tassel, you'll need to buy Chinese tassel in addition. This is one of our better quality Tai Chi swords, really nice quality, uh, made out of rigid sprung steel. This does come with a tassel. As you can see, it's slightly different to the one we have. Yeah, like I say, these aren't the most durable things in the world. So over the next few years, it probably won't, won't have many of its uh, strings on the end of it. So it might be worth getting a new one as and when that happens. We do have a selection of wooden Tai Chi swords. Now, most people don't tend to put tassels on the end of these, but they do. some of them do have a hole in, and obviously you can drill a hole if not, um, to put a tassel on just to get used to training with that. If you were thinking of moving on to maybe a metal sword, maybe you'll want to put a tassel on first, just, just to get the feel for it. As promised at the beginning of the video, here was a short montage of people training with the Tai Chi straight swords with the tassels on the end of their swords. Thanks very much for watching. I hope it was useful. I hope you learned loads about the Chinese sword tassel we have at Enzo. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel. Get all the latest videos from Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Cheers.